Hello YouTube. Before I show the previous uh, video clip about this enclosure, I want to say uh, I hope everybody had a great holidays. Uh, mine was not so much. We had a, a family health uh, emergency. And anyway, I do wish I'm in time for New Year so i wish everybody a happy happy new year and i hope that all your wishes come true and maybe some of mine as well okay i'm nearing my build of my enclosure for the minimal and this is what i have part of it and uh, i know it does not look much but that's what it is. I have glass on three sides and polycarbonate on the back and um, nothing in the front. And you won't believe how many times I <laughs> didn't think of the glass and tried to go in there from there. So anyway, that's the main part. We have the front door here with the handle and here is the minimal i did make a bigger hole for the gourmet or how you call it desk hole cover up thingy-majiggy and uh, i did mount the mill onto one of the aluminum profiles i did cut it to length and i mounted it from the bottom because I had luckily 60 millimeters in between here and 60 millimeters in between here so I drilled a hole into the profile and mounted it from the bottom and then I drilled further holes over here and these are 90 millimeters apart and they will get screwed down with the T-nuts and the screw from the bottom so it will be mounted securely onto the table but there is a twist um, since this profile is between the front and the rear profile of the enclosure and the enclosure is pretty heavy so I'm not gonna lift this thing up over the mill I put the enclosure on here and then put the mill in and then have to raise the enclosure a little bit so I can see what I'm doing here and put the screws from the bottom since the enclosure has a front uh, piece here I cannot just put the screws on here already and then slide the whole thing into place that does not work so it's gonna be a little workaround but it will work and I also took a cable chain for the front sensor and the stepper motor and all the wires will go through here on the bottom and out so this is it so far and uh, let's get on to the next part so after seeing the first part and me talking about how I'm gonna put the enclosure in and then uh, lift it and mount it and whatnot. I did mount it to the table and then lifted the enclosure without the front door over the mill. It was uh, not that difficult, uh, heavy, but not that bad. So it was way, way easier that way. So anyway, um, here it is, oops, with the door open and as you can see it's all mounted to the table and i even mounted the enclosure and i had this idea i had normally the light shining in from the top but then that doesn't uh, light up underneath here so i put two light um, led lights over here on the side i found some nice 90 no yes 90 degree profiles and they give out the light in 45 degree angle 
so from the left and right and I think it is really nice nice clean and of course I had the wires come together below this plastic I told you that you can use this plastic if you put it like that to put in glass if you put it like that to cover it up so I covered up the um, <clears throat> excuse me the wires came out on the bottom and went to my power supply and I had also this um, oh by the way on my previous videos I could not think the name for these things hinges hinges so that's what it is so anyway I figured that out meanwhile and I had this idea I don't know if you remember the um, fluorescent i don't know how you call me in english exactly fluorescent lights bulbs the round the long ones and how you, when you turn them on they started flickering before turning on all the way that's what i had in mind and see what i did okay let me turn it off and then on again and you will see what i'm talking about that's it stupid isn't it but it gives something nostalgic just for me for the older guys out there anyway that's what i did and um, i have another led animation for my other enclosure but i kind of like the simplicity of this anyway if you're interested how i did it leave uh, a comment below the video maybe Put a like and I will tell you what I did and how I did it anyway this is now the enclosure all the wires go out the back here as I showed and uh, next video will be running it and cutting some stuff of course I will then take out all the drill bits and whatnot out of here I just put them in there because now they're finally Dust proof. I can put anything in here to eliminate getting dusty. So this was it. If you like it, like I said, you can like the video. Maybe put a comment in here. If you don't like it, put a comment as well. And if you do have any questions, you can ask me. And uh, again, I wish everybody a great year. Hope that you will continue to support my videos by liking them or maybe even become Patreon. I still at five people so maybe I get a, a few more for the next year and uh, please also go to my Tindy store and check out maybe you have something that you like there and that's it happy new year